Um, what I always d do if uh, I want music playing in the background is I'll go to the um, Right, and we are here. Also, 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 big reveal, big reveal. Avery is also here. What? 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 We have got both of us, and I can just click a single button, and we're going back and forth. It's so. Okay. So, we've got a whole lot of stuff going on. <laughs> Debbie goes, look at you! <laughs> look at me! <laughs> I thought the big reveal was the gem was playing as a girl inkling. What? what? It's on screen! <laughs> what are you looking at? <laughs> um, anyway, uh, we've got a lot that we're doing today, and so I want to hustle us into League here. Um, we've got uh, a really big VOD review with the Grillers with a VOD uh, from of an overhead. So we've got multiple players that we can be talking about in the middle of the game. Also, we've got a solo VOD review for Gooms. So lots of stuff going on here. I'm going to go and dive into the Discord and let Gooms know that they are welcome to join us here. Um, meantime, we can be getting you in here, Avery. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. Made it home right on time. There you go, Smidge. Way, way to, way to slalom through traffic. Way to. Drive in a fundamentally unsafe way to get here for Squid School. That's that's exactly what we expect. Uh, I mean, please please don't actually matters. don't actually do that for legal reasons. Uh, <laughs> I'm not allowed to do that. Uh, I'm not getting any word from Gooms here. 
they're uh, currently idle on Discord and haven't immediately responded. So I would say if like Devi and Jamie just want to hop in here, we should be good for that. They are, after all, VOD reviewees today. That is true. Welcome everybody. Oh, I need to I need to like play this game more and get more of like the coins. Because I wanted to you suggested that I play Luna Blaster uh last week and I don't have enough to buy it. I'm ah, too okay. Broke. Yeah, the Luna Blaster is another kind of ambush weapon. It does a lot of sharking. Um, because it's got really short range, but it also has a huge blast radius. Um, so if you're up close and you're aiming in their, like, general direction, you're going to hit them. I was watching, uh, I was watching Debbie's stream yesterday, and I saw when she was using the, uh, it was one of the Brellas, I don't remember which one, but it looked like a, basically like a shotgun kind of weapon, and... That looked really interesting to me. That I was like, I, I feel like I could play something like that uh, if I could buy it. But I didn't. I didn't know which one it was or like what, like the name of it was or anything. I just saw that she was using it and was like. Devi says cool. that that's the uh, the camo tent umbrella. Uh, so the the way that umbrellas work is that they have actual pellets like a shotgun does. Uh, that each do a set amount of damage, and each one of those can either hit directly or also do indirect damage. Um, and so you kind of just add up how much damage all of those do. So it's a weapon that requires pretty considerable accuracy if you're going to go for one-shots. Um, you also need to be a certain distance away from them, like max range. You, there's literally no possible way to hit that. Ah. Ah, I see. And yes, Debbie, feel free to jump in. Um, well, I guess you can't just jump in, huh? You have to admit you. Um, but yes, come on in. Um, <laughs> wouldn't it be dope if Debbie took over Squid School for a day? <gasps> Foreshadowing. It's like um, that's happened before. And might be happening again. <gasps> oh, uh, Jamie. There you go. Welcome. Hello. Hi. Hello. I'm glad I wasn't dragged up the moment I was partially dying because I was taking a sip of water and it went down the wrong pipe. <laughs> no. Good job. Now we now we all get to laugh at you for having done that, even though we didn't hear that. That's I awesome. I can laugh, laugh at my shame. There you go. Uh -huh. uh, so just waiting on Jamie. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I was... Jamie. Oh yeah, there is no password. You know, I was playing. I was playing Pokemon. I had to switch out the cartridge. There he is. All right. I'm still on a brush. I forgot I was still on the brush from yesterday. <laughs> Devil's <laughs> brush power. Hold what? on. Nah, I gotta. I gotta go to my <laughs> other build because I'm trying to get uh, pieces on my uh, thermal link vest. So. Good ground out. Yeah. Dope. Ah. <clears throat> Too. Friend know. has stopped playing Splatoon 2. They're waiting for Splatoon 3 to come out, so I'm alone. Aw. Sorry alone. to hear that, Smidge. You have, you have us! What are you talking about? Very true. Yeah, but I are, losing the IRL friends on it is, is tough. It, it's strange, though. I would think if someone was excited for Splatoon 3 to come out, <laughs> that they would want to play Splatoon 2, you know? Mm. Like, get, get ready think. for it. No. I don't know. That's that's how I think about it. Like, as soon as you know the Splatoon three announcement kicked the Splatoon community back into high gear, I was just like, okay, I'm gonna play more Splatoon now. <laughs> that was where that came from. So, mm -hmm. Splatoon three, like Splatoon three, kind of came out, and you saw like some of the players who had, I put in quotes, retired from <laughs> from Splatoon two. It was just like, hmm, you know what? I might just get the hang of this again, so then I'm ready for when the next game drops. Right. <laughs> The thing about a competitive game is that if someone announces that they're going to retire, that means that they like care about the community around them and they're probably going to end up coming back at some point. 
the people who don't come back are the ones who just vanish into thin air. Like, they, they drop off the face of the earth. <laughs> That's the only time you're ever actually going to see that. Yeah, I forgot I don't have swim speed on this build. Respawn Punisher yeah. on the Dapples. So they're going to be aggressive. Well, they're flat as the rollers right. under bridge. Yeah, they're coming back right. Squeeze I can see down. them with thermal link. Oh, hi there, roller. <laughs> Uh, I can't reach the roller. One flanking left. Avery. Yeah, Avery, by yeah, Avery. I missed yep. both of them. There's two over there. Oh, yeah. Both of them are right there. And on bridge. Roller's, roller's flanking with the dapples. Mm -hmm. I can I uh, probably pinch here. that in street if you guys want to go in. There's two. Down to the roller. Got one of them. I'm down to the dapples. Uh. Oh, I almost missed the roller. Jamie, hmm. I'm behind you, so just heads up. Okay. Yeah, and by tree now. Can you push him yeah. around? Thanks. Nice, nice push. Okay, that's okay, two down. There's one, there's one in our alley. We need to, we need to stop a uh, tower now. Focus tower. They got away. The squeezer's on by the bridge. I'll take bridge. They're jumping to the squeezer. Jumpers both weak. Got one. There's another one down here. The oh, wobbling. Nice. I'm out of ink. Uh, uh, just ignore it. Oh, Run away. Yeah, there's one on the right. Yep. Yeah. Oh, about tower jump. They bubbled. Sorry for the missiles. Bridge. It's all good. I have had to wait for missiles behind. The, uh, cool. Yeah. The only thing when you guys go under bridge with missiles oh. is that they go on my face. <laughs> I didn't die, but. Sorry. <laughs> Not reading I'm missiles. Die here. <laughs> no. <laughs> is one coming car? Got one? Oh, yeah. Roller. Oh, yeah. As soon as they push up, one goes right to the car. Nice. Dapples on, on me. I did missile. One. One. There you go. So this one, last one on bridge. We should be pushing tower. There's one um, jumping to bridge. One jumping to bridge. I feel like we don't have enough control to take tower yet. Yeah, we have three down. Our... Mm, when I looked, there was only one. There's one. There's two in our yeah, court. Roller. And one on bridge. No, oh, I'm getting ambushed. Oh. Yeah, the dapples are still in our court. Um, Drop the squeezer. Jamie, can you can you take it while I distract the guy over here? I've got roller and a dapples on me. I got the dapples. Got the other. Roller. Left. Down. I don't Roller's know dead. Went. Okay, you got it. Okay, I have missiles. What else do we have? Oh, careful one. On Dooley's weak. Dooley's weak. Slam. There's a jump to him. There's a jump to him. There Thank you go. You. Good job. Good job. Okay, Avery, you can push one, up. There's one behind the lamp. Jumping to Debbie. Missile them. Right in front of me. Oh, hi. Thank you. <laughs> Roller on me. On tower now. Roller's Thank down. You. Taking the car. Uh, traded the oh, down. Way. That's wipe. That's wipe. Wipe. Let's push up. Missling them as they spawn. Roller drops to car. Roller down. Die, Another die. one on me. Got dualies. Down, wipe. wipe. All good. That's a good push, though. Gold team rules. See, the, the great thing about this is that, like, half the time we're going to be gold team because I'm color locked. <laughs> okay, someone squeeze it down, bridge. Someone come push left with me. Okay, I'm here. I'm in behind ramp. Ah, this thing's two down. on bridge. One's going to be right in front of you, Debbie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's squeezy. I can see it with thermal. Yeah! Nice. One under thermal. bridge, one under bridge. Roller, got him. Gonna look there you go. Okay. Another one dropped on me. Hit him twice. He's a tree. I'm just zoning him. We don't have to worry about. Okay, there's another one coming. Good. Yeah, we're fine. Nice. <laughs> they just left, left wide open. So I'm just like, okay, we can just come over here. <laughs> just walk on in. <laughs> That's literally what I did. Is I walked in and rode tower the rest of the way there. <laughs> oh, Respawn no, Punisher Dapples. That player has nothing to lose. <laughs> <laughs> They're a dangerous, dangerous squid. <laughs> I'm about to run Respawn Punisher Hydra on this next game. I like back how their, their tag is you with like a bunch you. of exclamation marks. It's like wow. it's like a Soldier Boy reference or something. I was about to say, <laughs> what song is that? Blink, 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 blink. Yeah. We love us some steel drums. Huh? Oh, now we're going under the sea. Yeah. 
There's got to uh, be something from Super Mario Sunshine that has steel drums in it, right? There has to be. Oh, uh, I think there is. I'm sure that there is. I just can't remember the tune. <clears throat> okay, now my mind's on Coconut Mall. Do you have red nails and I approve? Coconut Mall? Yeah, I did the voice <laughs> a few days ago. I very much approve. <laughs> They're all like glittery and I don't know if you'll be able to see them as much, but still yeah. fantastic. All right. Oh, lovely. Let's do this. Got the Avery time, view today. Time to not get punished by this leader. Average of armor. I mean, missile. Watch me fail okay, leaders in their court. Don't. The leaders watching bridge hard, so take the two wings. Flanking so left. Big. Leaders watching me. I see you. Leaders backed up. Got him. Oh, one on bridge. Nice. On, That's two tower. down. I've got their. I've got their splash punish. Oh, one on me in front. Oh. They're on street still. Uh, got him. This. Good job keeping you going. Uh, is there, are they pushing you, Jamie? Uh, no, I was gonna no, push my missile. Okay. There's a leader watching. I'm not rapid. Is. They're ballering. I might be in trouble here. They're swimming away. On bridge, one Later down. Nice. Okay, good. Yeah, There's still on bridge. bridge. One. I one in the alleyway as well. Ah, they got me. Shot. I had no angle, I'm sorry. Oh no, they got me. They don't got me. Please. Okay, I got baby. Watch out behind. Careful, we're two down. Oh, oh the ink check got me. They don't know where I am. Oh, on oh, there's bridge, one on bridge so. at least. Two bridge, Probably two. Actually, yeah, two. two. I hit them both, but... I got Thank you. you. Oh, leader's on tower, by the way. Missing the, missing the oh. three. One okay, on bridge a, as well. There's a blaster lurking below our lamp. There's two got sharking, him. right? I have power. armor in about two seconds, but I won't use it until they come uh, back. One their tree with three. Jamie. I missled them. They're backing up to left. I'm going to watch from in front. Let me know if that guy gets loose. Oh, boy. Blaster's coming to me on bridge. I am trying not to. They dropped. To got him. Thank Leader, you. the ramp. Either. Oh, bridge one. Oh, I got the ink jet. Nice. Okay. Oh, behind. Br watch bridge. Okay. Leader's the leader's still watching uh, bridge. They're okay. on bridge. Move. I am Agenda. fighting them right now, but I might Missling be in with a bomb or something. All the oh, I got them. Oh, you push up, Jim. Okay. There's one. On bridge. Oh, no, two, two bridge. Oh, I'm down. There's two coming from bridge. Okay. Dropping behind tower. Ah, uh, I probably there we go. This. Yeah. There were two. Oh, good. And I was in toxic mist. <clears> hey, <throat> okay, are out there alone. Careful on bridge. Ah, I'm, I'm behind you. I'm, I'm, I'm behind Please. you. Don't worry. Okay, now I'm not behind you. But oh, leader on not. leader on bridge and with a splash. Oh, that's special. Oh, nice. That, Someone got I'm one. I got bomb rush. Oh, dear. Missling two. There's one in our street. I got rapid. sniped. I'm stuck right now. Got one. I missed the, I missed the wrong Leader one. Leader down. Oh, got me. Thank you. Yeah, we need a little more paint in our side. Mm hmm. Oh, there's one sharking our, our street. By Avery. Oh, well, that go. was a cool accident. Or not by yeah, Avery, Jem. that was by Jem. <laughs> Ooh, by I just saw Avery's name above Jem, but you were under the bridge. Missling to their <laughs> lamp. Uh, there's one left closed. Avery, you can't push up. Oh, they dropped on me. I missed my bomb. There's a blaster on bridge as well, so I'm being a little cautious here. Leader oh. can reach me from blaster here. Blaster rotate left, Evie. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to. I gotta duck under here for cover because the leader's got bridge. I see him. I also missile too. There. I'm gonna push bridge. I got the blaster that. here. Leader is weak. Leader's backed up to lamp. Watch that uh, left side, Jamie. I know uh, yeah, watch cool. left. Leader might have an angle. Leader's car I'm got him. Traded. Avery, go forward. The one in the uh, alleyway. Rapid where the leader was. One coming bridge and one coming oh. street. Sorry, Avery, I thought that you were going in further. Oh dear. From above left. Yep. Okay. Yeah, How about our missiles? Woo. We got a minute left. Got one. Missing the tune alley. One's got on one. one's giving me a bridge. One car. Yeah, can you distract it? I'm just at least. I'm on tower. Shot. That's that's what I'm. <laughs> I don't know how I much more one. I can distract than playing the objective. No, no, no! I needed Jamie to take the leader shot away from me. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's what. Uh, yeah. And he did. 
Uh, your jump's blocked by a blaster, but I think I can save you. They saved you, actually. Missiles it wasn't incoming. even me. And missile need to up on their plat. Oh, I got stuck on the uh, wall! Um, that was just bad uh, I I should have took the bridge. I'm solo missiled. Okay, lost 20 seconds. Okay. I don't think they'll actually push me. I'm just going to come in from behind the tower now. Sounds like a good idea. Yeah, um, rapid. Oh. Nice. Get cat. That's, uh, that's, it's shot. just, it's just leader leader. Weak. On me. Got him. You guys got this. Cool. Nicely done. I did some towers. Nice. My intense focus. Just staring at the screen. <laughs> This good? Oh, I can see me just like glaring at the screen, like. Well, now we can. <laughs> oh my gosh, Avery! That's just that's what I do. <laughs> that's that is guaranteed. That is how everybody plays Splatoon, hundred percent. That is it. That's it right there. Yeah, you know, I give myself a nosebleed a lot. Mm -hmm. I accidentally aiming it up too high. <laughs> Just smacking your face. I'm gonna drive. Do Splatoon. One of my favorite ways to explain how motion aim works to people is to tell them, like, so you know those, like, bus st steering wheels where the wheel is parallel to the ground? So it's not like it's up and down like this. It's like it's out like this. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You're basically just steering your inkling like that. That's true. Oh. So, yeah. just just like slap a pro controller, you know, duct tape it to the to the car and, you know, drive around town and uh, see where your inkling takes you. Perfect plan. Yeah, that that that's definitely a great way to be able to react to your opponents, you know. Oh shoot, there's someone here, Swerve. <laughs> That's how driving works too, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> oh look, a turn. Doesn't turn. <laughs> I recognize these names, but I could not remember where from. Uh, they all have stealth. Two coming jump. into left mid. Oh, oh there's a bucket. Oops. We didn't bucket watch above. Mass. Got him. Miss Link 3. This is Avery. Jamie, can yeah, I jump to you? Me too. Yeah, uh, there might be someone in front of me, they're, but... They're, they're way far left. I can see they're them They're flanking street, oh, flanking street. Behind, behind, behind. I don't know what happened. That's okay, I chickened them. I'll hold them off from in front. I got, I got one. There you go. Our bunker, they're bomb rushing. Bucket dropped on me, got him. That's one behind push. tower, behind tower. Nice, good push. There's a jump one to jumping one in. Got him. There you go. Okay. Uh, can wipe. someone go top left? I will uh, once someone takes this from me. I'm hopping in. It's not gonna be me. There's two coming left. Missling them. Bucket's weak. This is stupid, but I'm going for Still it. Front of, Watch like, their elbow. There's Still one top on left. There's someone in street. Oh, Blaster's got my number. Oh, I got them. Never mind. Blink. One left flat. Oh, that was a really bad aim. They're also jumping. They're Still left flat. They're coming in from left. I see him. There's gonna be one in that little corner, Debbie. Like right yeah, I know. That's why I'm backing up a little bit. Thought I could go for points. We were further in than I thought. I'm gonna jump to Jamie. Uh, okay, I got one. Missiles. I got one. Yeah, yep. I'm just fleeing for a second. Someone keep an eye under bunker. Oh, oh I got directed from Inkjet, their bunker. I got one. Oh, Jamie, that one's so weak. Uh, just yeah, weak. yeah, and yeah. He was just, so weak. Yeah, I tapped him twice, so. One looking to come uh, over top right. Yeah, yeah. They're bomb rushing. Oh god! I got directed one shark down our bunker wall. <laughs> uh. Pushing the blaster. This is a bad idea. Oh, no. oh, the bucket. They're inkjetting. Oh dear, there's also a bucket here. I'm just fleeing. Yeah. yeah, no, I'm oh, just dead. Can... 
Okay, they're gonna take our mast, Avery. Watch out from that one corner. Nice! That, one. that is what we needed. Got one. Oh, you're down. One down to bomb. Street. Ow. Still one pushing tower? One on the tower. Yeah. On the tower. Uh... Uh, they're in street. Oh, last one. There we go. They're still going. Stop. Bucket, bucket top right. Bucket. bucket top right. Right side, our deck. I'm gonna reclaim bunker. They're probably gonna jump in on our deck because they're still sharking up yeah, there. Yeah, so yeah. be be aware of a drop on right. They're yeah, there's two there at least. Me. They're gonna come behind elbow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll hop out tower for a bit. Actually, take control of in front. Right plat, right plat. Thanks, Jamie. Uh, oh, I should have had oh. that. I really should have had that. That's Thank on you. me. Thank you for the clean up, Avery. Uh, now you want to get out of there, Avery. Good luck okay, that. okay, okay, too late. Oh, too late. Too late. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have missiles. One's trying to uh, come no. up again. Do I get you this shot me? Oh, no. I got one. Nice. Just need these two. Oh, that's an ink chip. Oh, I did not see that chicken. Uh, where are they? I'm um, bunker. Uh, okay. Monster. Uh oh. I did died the missiles? That one followed Traded. me? That, okay. They Two have mid control scroll. It's just oh, Jamie. Wait. Jamie, it's just you. Can you take yeah. bunker wall and paint from up there? But watch out he's not safe to go there. He's not yeah, safe to go I, there. I, 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 I see that now. Yeah. <laughs> Slosh is on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm right. trying to get rid of Slosh. They're bomb rushing too. Oh, no. oh they were on our bunker wall. Oh. I thought they would be in street. Oh, no. We just have to keep bombing towers so it doesn't push any further. I'm gonna try and sneak out right. One on elbow, two on elbow. Keep bombing they the tower. They fell from elbow. Nice. There you go. Three down, nice. just blaster nice. above, blaster above. I got him. Nice. Blaster already, there you go. Push up, paint up. I'm on Ooh, the tower. Okay. Okay, you can probably hop off of it and paint forward now, Avery, because yeah. now it's gonna reset back to mid. I'm gonna paint up this what? left wing. There's someone it. left side mid already. Just paint for specials. We don't have to take fights right now. Yes, yes, you did. You aimed exactly where I called. Oh, mess! <laughs> Missile two. You got him. <laughs> okay, I, I, I'm pretty sure someone else can see that up on mass, right? I saw, I saw, it, it happened like right above me. So I didn't see exactly what happened. Also, here you go, Avery. Oh my god. The blasters jump scared me twice in that game. Like, just from the shark wall up direct and just on mast where I, it's a blind spot for me. Like, there's someone just standing there behind mast and I can't see them. And when a blaster just peeks, I'm dead. <laughs> oh. That needs to be a Gmo. There's, <laughs> it's like, wait, what'd you say? There, there's a lot of pain in Debbie's voice right now. Oh. Pain and fright. This, this, this. This is a recovery. You know, I, I did try Smidge, to like. Smidge likes it when I say the like the blasters got my number. I mean, it means I'm being followed by somebody or just constantly tracked. Like I do this with chargers a lot. It's just like, oh no, the chargers got my number. <laughs> but then you could, if you have splashdown, you could be like psychic the wrong number. I have to get over there first. Is the problem, and I can't exactly do that. <laughs> Psych! That's the wrong number! Exactly. <laughs> if only I remember to say, uh, say that when I actually succeed in splatting them, but I don't. <laughs> Just like, you think you got my number? Well, don't, I got yours first! Don't, don't worry, it's not the same if you don't have a whole posse of kids cheering for you as soon as you say it. <laughs> it's not the same. It just means I need the chat on my side, right? <laughs> there needs to be some sound to it, though. You know, we we need like some some MLG air horns and shit. There is someone already on mass flanking. There's someone already flanking our bunker. I'm dead. They're going our bunker. On a bunker wall. Oh, I'm dead. I need uh, to just get out of here. Uh, yeah, I am traded. running away. I'll take that, I guess. Slow them down a little bit. Jumping to Debbie. Um, there's gonna be one on me in two seconds here. Never mind, I killed him. Yeah, no. They were not paying enough attention to that. They were not. Jet in mid. Uh, ain't jet. There's actually. The jump is in front of our bunker wall. 
Yeah, we're not gonna get there. They're on our bunker too. No, they're inkjet. Yeah, I don't have a charge for it. Otherwise, I would have been able to. One our street, got him. Ink the inkjet's watching me. Missling the two behind tower. Someone come push oh, forward. Oh, got yeah, one. I dropped right wing. There are two left side. One's trying to flank. Okay, they backed up. Good job, good job, good job. Left wing, left wing, Jeff, yeah, beside, you, beside you. I, I'm aware, I'm aware. Okay. On the right. They're, they're gonna be like right above you, Jem. Yeah. Finally above. Okay, I'm trying to push left now. Got one. Oh, hello. I might be dead on mass. Missing mass. I, I need help. Okay, there's another one on their bunker. Yep. They backed up. They're on top now. Got, got one. There. I got another. Oh, weak on uh, their right Good side. Jump. Oh, landed on me. They directed me I'm down. Oh, In street, hey, definitely re back up. Yep, yeah, I'm not okay. gonna. Okay. Uh, Jumping in. I'm gonna try and take a uh, jump. I got one with a chicken. Nice. One on bunker wall, hit him, nice. Yeah, I got it. One elbow. Top left, top left. I tapped one. They're on their elbow. Two of them left decks, they're coming up elbow now. Oh, there's gonna be like one right to our left, Avery. One, they're spawn mast. Oh, yeah, I'm just gonna. I don't want to go all the way. Nice, back Avery. Here. Two pushing me left. Here, have a bomb. On their elbow. Two on their elbow. One's gonna push me. Yep. Missling three. Right. I'm really weak. I'm down. But you should go on my armor. Oh, one's weak. Oh. There's two. There's two in their street. This you, Debbie. I gotta leave. They missled me. They know where I am. Yeah. They know. They know where you are. Hey, they got my number. <laughs> However, they're not chasing, so I don't have to block it. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Get on the right. <laughs> and the drop is there too, right below the right drop. <laughs> yeah, I have time. I should have One's still our bunker. <laughs> okay, they have another inkjet ready, so watch the ledges. I, I made yeah. this mistake literally five seconds ago. Jets or, or something Jets on is on the mask. Yeah, the one with inkjet was on the mask. I'm being bombed and missled out. Oh, you meant inkjet is on the mask. I was gonna say. Yes. Uh, oh. Uh, right. Woo! That's 40 Jeez. seconds. On their I'm bunker, just... one. I don't know who it in is. In oh, their street. Two. It's the jet. The street. Oh my gosh, this feels so much better. I got yeah, one that I am to... Left this wing, left the wing. most ink jet kills I've gotten ever. Thank okay. you. There's... Okay, well you guys are just having fun over there. <laughs> He's still there, though, Debbie. Let's have a little more fun. Yeah, we broke hey, it. checkpoint. Let's go. <laughs> like I said, hey, let's have a little oh. more fun. <laughs> Last 10. Okay, yeah, we just us two four right now. Pinning for our uh, missiles. Yeah, I'm nowhere near one. Down, so I just it, used it. Missling tower. They jetted. I got one with the missiles. Yep. Got the ink jet. There you go. Oh, it's uh, just heavy. 1v1. You got me with the inkjet while I was inkjetting. They're probably jumping Dang. into it. Yeah, I got I got toxic mist in. There we go. <laughs> they, they, they drop rolled off the tower. Did they really? <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> That's funny. I was getting, I was doing schmooze in this 1v1 and all of a sudden toxic mist and I'm just like, are you kidding? <laughs>
Oh my goodness. <laughs> they saw your <laughs> movements and they were like, stop uh, that. We do not approve yeah, of this. That's, that's no exactly what happened. <clears throat> it's also funny when you change over to Avery's and then you see the legit colors. Dodge roll. <laughs> I, I was yeah, telling, they, they dodged I was winning the game. Jeff, like, the the, uh, the <laughs> poster, like all my stuff behind the wall. Oh, my yeah. walls are just actually green, so it's like mm -hmm. you're just yeah. seeing all my stuff on here. Avery just chroma keyed the back wall of his room. And so, like, you, he's got like shelves and posters and stuff that you can see, but you can't actually see the wall. The wall is just Splatoon. That's the best part, this right? Is... <laughs> What, are you saying you don't have Splatoon walls? <laughs> Dude, Dude, my favorite. We all have Splatoon walls. <laughs> I don't. I, I have Disney. <laughs> <laughs> Close enough. I have. I have a. I have. Right, I have a picture hanging up. It's Mickey Mouse drawing like a self portrait, but the portrait is coming out looking like Walt Disney. It's the run oh, back. Okay. And it's actually like one of my favorite pictures. Hmm. That sounds pretty cool. Yeah. All right, a little injection of color here from. <clears throat> oh wait, are we? Do we have the same colors? No, no. I have a yellow and you have a green, for the other team. Yeah. <clears throat> but it's the same color for our team, interestingly. That's the funny part. <laughs> okay, so if someone's painting the right side. Keep an eye on their bunker. Yep. Oh, well, I'm getting pushed there. from they that. Did the, they did the same thing as last time. Okay, almost to armor. Okay, I'm gonna push left when we get it. I have armor up. Well. I got one. Yeah. Mass nice. one. one. They, they dropped fell, on me. They fell, they fell. That's two. One in their streets. They're shoot? backing up. Go, 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 go. Tower. I'm on. You push up, Avery. Okay. Uh, Somebody needs to go top left. There's two. I'm in their base. Oh. <laughs> oh. Did you see the streak that I'm on? That. That's literally the most amount I've ever gotten before. Oh, that was bad. Oh! I immediately humbled. I should have just I, got, I, I, I was trying to splash. I was going to splash down to you, Jamie, but I had to dodge a nozzle nose. There's no way they didn't see me just now. They did not see you just now. Uh -huh. <laughs> they traded with two. That's good. Uh, watch out. They control. have armor ink jet. Fun. They're trying to figure out where I am, right? Probably. Oh, I should have yep, traded. There they least. are. I don't have armor anymore. But I'm on bunker, so yeah, be careful, Debbie. Yeah, yeah. I know. Missiles are pops. Just, I'm throwing Watch out chickens for the so I can figure out where they are. One are bunker. Missing one bunker and one uh, is just mid. Yeah. Numbers up. They're Got still one up on armor. Bunker. They're on the wall. Ah, uh, inkjet. It was zap. Inkjet's uh, on right wing. Bunker wall is clear. One on right, I'm rushing them. Ah, they're weak. Oh, I'm out. Oh, we make those. Let's go. Oh, that one. Didn't get the uh, last move, though. Nothing's on bunker. Not careful, Debbie. What are you talking about? I don't need to be careful. I'll splash. They're two down. I, I thought you were going to jump down. That's uh, why I said. There's, Paint no. up in front. What are you talking about? Mass is help Jamie, home. help Jamie. Okay. I can't. I don't have a charge. I'm trying to dodge. I'm aiming lots. That's like the <laughs> biggest issue. Watch their street. Oh, yeah. There's two. There's two. Two from left. Oh, two on left. Yeah. Got one of them. Hello. The other one's coming up to me. Oh, they oh, pincered boy. me. One on tower. Yeah, we don't have the people up there right now. Yeah. One right jump. I see him. One sharking left wing. There's one of the ink jets. Oh, the oh, ink I, I try to save you. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah, one on our bunker, Debbie. Yeah, they. It was too late. I couldn't trade with them. I should have just jumped forward and splashed down. I knew they were there too. I heard them. Got one. One on tower. Got them. Oh, finally. One, one more mid. Yeah. Got them. That's Good wipe. <laughs> Boink. Okay, so uh, Avery, when you come up, can you go top left? Yee. Thank you. Okay. So you're good, John. There's two above you, Jerry. Oh, I got no. one. Oh, I'm out. I'm out. Watch out behind you guys. I got one. 
Oh, I was uh, standing right next to him and firing missiles at him. I don't know what I was thinking. You pulled a Shaq. <laughs> Shaq? Shaq is a top Shaq. player for uh, FUN. Uh, dang, I didn't know he He is known for using missiles in extremely aggressive positions, Careful, Jim, among other things. Got one. There's two left. Jet and another, they have armor. armor. A broken armor. Uh, it's up really weak on their bunker. There's three there. Oh, boy. Yeah, armor's ready. I got oh, boy. I'm just jumping out. Last 50. Uh, 45, I'm going to pop. Inkjet, watch out. I don't think I can the save left. the jump here. Got one. I'm down to Inkjet. Nice. Inkjet. 2v2. He knows where I am. Ah! All, the <laughs> All the missiles on me. Alright, we do need to defend at this checkpoint, but be careful. Don't feed in until then. One top right. Gem behind you. I got one, I know. There's one more down there. I'm down to them, but uh, no one's on tower. Okay, we need to stop tower. Yeah, we're too late. It's too late. I was the only one. They're going to get check. Uh, get specials. Be careful. To stop that. There's still an H3 on the right. Or L3. God dang. Okay. I messed up. Got tower rider. Oh, just right out of my reach. We need to be on tower. Oh. Oh, that's ink. <laughs> uh. I think that's the same thing happened to me and you both, Devi. Te tech I, I, Techno only... Rage says, uh, what's your favorite special? Inkjet. Definitely Inkjet. Very cool special. Techniques to missiles. I thought you just pop them and hope for the best. Uh, you, there, there's a lot of thought behind it. It's, there's not a lot of technique to it. It's uh, press button and then fire. Um, <laughs> but when you use them and where you aim them um there's a lot of theory to think about there hello dot 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 dead dot 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 <laughs> <laughs> i feel like the 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 word dead is a little bit of an exaggeration considering that you managed to type something <laughs> that, that those were his final words or word zombie Blech. <laughs> oh, I am slain! Yeah, we knew that. You got stabbed. We could see the blood trail, dude. <laughs> this is God, what a drama queen! Oh, <laughs> oh this I is like adorable. the flag that was just <laughs> waving there for a second. Hi. Pain oh, for missiles. Okay. There's Chargers one on bunker. Definitely. I'm already down to the charger. All right. They're gonna Two have to kill a Why oh. thought I could get around in time? I guess they were. Okay, no. get out. They were flanking. Okay, top blah is the charger. Yep. I. I don't know what to do at the moment. Um. Not die. I guess is the goal here. Missling. That looked like it was above me, but okay. I guess I'll take the bomb kill. I got the charger. 2v2. 1v1. 1v2. Yeah. Coming down to the inkjet. Dropping in behind tower. Uh, they got me from bunker wall. Dang. Alright, that happens. <laughs> Honestly, I'm glad that it went quickly because we have a lot to VOD review today, and I'm like looking at the time, like eh, making sure we can get everything in. Let's go, Avery! Yeah, that's so much that round. Aha! <laughs> yeah, no, it's. Hard pulling the weight of this team. Yeah, just all the time. Oh, right? <laughs> <That's>, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Avery, you've got a, a sort of starry night sort of thing going on back there. The the lighting has it's changed. An extra visual effect. Yeah, it sparkles. <laughs> I think it's more like snow. You know that. We'll take yeah. 
yeah. that would be uh, snow, in sparkles. keeping. Well, no, actually, Avery's not in a place where there's snow, but <laughs> snow doesn't it, exist here in Arizona. It's not even particularly uh, cold here right now. It's okay, thirty-two exactly. So it's Can right I at just freezing. Shove all of you with the weather that we've been having, like, please. <laughs> no, just this is. I'm done around. with ice. This is the first I've been above freezing in a while. All right. <laughs> I'm How I'm down for not being in the single digits. <laughs> Let me see what the temperature is for me. You know, there were actually two days last week where I could actually go outside if I wanted to in a shorts and a t-shirt and be fine. And yet there's still like five feet of snow drifts on the ground. Um, it is 68 for me. Oh man, uh, a couple degrees below room cold. temperature, that's kind of cold. I don't know what that is! <laughs> 20 degrees uh, Celsius, Debbie. Oh, that's nice! Room temperature yeah. is like 70 degrees on okay. the dot. I, I I like my room to be cold though, so I typically have the the uh, little fan going at like 65, yeah. 64. People who like it chilly usually like 65, people who like it a little warmer like 75 or so. Any further beyond that, and they're probably crazy. Um, 80 is the normal. I don't know what okay. you're talking about. <laughs> and my, my grandma, uh, she used to keep her house at like 80 degrees, and it was so awful. See, hmm. right now, it's in Fahrenheit, it's 9 degrees uh, right now. So it's one of the nicer days, but gosh, is it icy. Mm. <laughs> and the wind is not fun. Okay. <laughs> Uh, oh, that's that's actually I love that. <laughs> that sounds really nice, actually. Yeah, but you don't want the ice. I'm gonna call an audible here and say we should start the vod reviews because we need all the time we can oh, get should. at this Rip point. The power. <laughs> so, We're only yeah, sorry away. about that, but it's fine. At We're gonna need it. Good. Look, at least Ninga's not here to stress about this, so. <laughs> All right, we're going to start with, go with Gooms, uh, because I feel like we can probably take all day on a, a team VOD review. Uh, <laughs> at least this one is an individual. So I am sorry, Avery, but the method by which I can show you is going away and being replaced by this. I have disappeared. All right. You haven't, you haven't disappeared for me. You've disappeared, but you haven't. Avery hasn't disappeared from me yet. It's the Shadow Man. <laughs> shadow. So I'm, I'm gonna I'm trust that we're scared. actually showing the the video here at this point. Um, uh, looks like a video. Got it. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, and hopefully sound is coming through. So uh, I don't have any word from Gooms. Uh, I'm not sure if they're you know in the stream right now. Um, so uh, I'm gonna. You know, I'm going to still be speaking to Gooms, but just realize that I'm talking with someone who might not be here at the moment. Um, if they say anything in the Gooms, chat, uh, you know. Right, you know, we'll, we'll be keeping track of chat, of course, but also if uh, Gooms is watching this back on the VOD after the fact, mm. um, they'll be able to, you know, ask us questions on Discord afterwards anyway. Uh, shameless plug, by the way. Um, well, that's <laughs> sent to YouTube as well. Uh, let me... Uh, oh, okay, so re that actually works in Restream. That's very cool. I didn't know that. Um, so we've got we've got a Discord server. If you want a VOD review like this one, all you got to do is go into that Discord and DM me. I am Jem, and uh, we'll set up a schedule for it. So anyway, Gooms is playing NZAP85 here with a team Wait, of a, a very aggressive squad of players in terms of their comp. Yeah, it's the same team. Um. And we are going to be able to hear some of the callouts, which is awesome. I am going to leave that on because that gives us some insight into what they were thinking and what kind of information they're giving each other and what kind of information they're acting on. Um, so all of that is really good to work with. Uh, so this comp is Team. insanely short range. We've are got uh, two end zaps, a dualies, which are all the same range, and then a dapples, which is shorter range. Uh, and they have to tackle a hydra here in this situation. So um, one of the big considerations they're going to have to you know be thinking about is how do we keep the hydra from just shredding us from a range that we can't contest them at 
Uh, and the answer in this match turns out to be the Hydra it has blinders on and very poor peripheral vision and isn't actually paying attention to flanks. Um, I'll point out a couple of situations where the Hydra definitely could have uh, had a, a bigger impact than they did. Um, places where Devi definitely would have gotten away from. That's <laughs> I kind was of my. Gonna say this sounds unfortunate, so I'm looking forward. Right. To so uh, we'll be talking about that a little bit, and so that becomes less of an issue, and you guys are kind of just able to coordinate and take fights together. And I am really impressed at the level of callouts that you guys have, considering you know where we're at in the game right now. So... Only other people playing League right now. That is a very common thing, <laughs> that they are the only other people you're gonna match okay, with. Okay, me and Snaps are on right. So I like, we're calling, you know, we are on right. That gives the, the rest of the team information to work with. Now it does look like somebody additional came right with you. So that's something that, you know, it's important for this player to be keeping track. It looks like you have someone who's already over on the left-hand side here. Um, it's important for them to keep track of something like that because, you know, if they hear, okay, these two people are on right, they might assume that the other person went with them or, you know, that might be the game plan. And so if they put themselves in a position where they're alone, then that could be a problem. But for now, I think it works out okay. They're able to draw uh, aggro. Out, out, out. You guys do get flanked from the right, which is a really good play from this player. They see that you're moving in on the zone, and so they get pressure from the other side. Unfortunately for them, your teammate up front wins this 1v1. Um, they are, you know, fighting uphill. They are in a pretty exposed position. This is something where... I would be worried dropping in like that, especially against the Hydra. I'd be worried that the Hydra would be right side peeking me and that I wouldn't be able to get that close. But since they are able to get that pick, all of the pressure from here isn't as important and you can spend all of your time, you know, dealing with this. So the roller is able to sneak onto the zone here and this is the first that you're able to spot them. The ouch clues you in and I'm glad you're responding to the ouches. And fortunately, the uh, roller doesn't continue going for you. They just kind of turn their backs to you, so you're able to just shoot them in the back. So that's got roller, great. Got roller. You're able to get the roller. This player is, you know, fighting over here. You notice that, and then... Uh -oh. um, good trade there. So it looks like they put all the bubbles out in this direction, but fight in this direction. What they probably could have done here was do an insta-pop combo, drop a bomb at their feet, throw a, a bubble over the top, and then bomb it a second time. And, um, you know, if they'd put like one here and one here, that blocks your team's shots. And this bubble popping probably also pops this bubble and gets both of you. So this was a, a dangerous situation. Um, with any Kensa Jr., the way that I approach this weapon is um, if it is, if it doesn't have special, then I look at it like, okay, this is basically just an arrow spray. It has almost nothing it can do to me. If it has special, I'm like, okay, this is this is a bomb waiting to go off at any point in time. I need to treat it like it's a roller. I need to treat it like it's an ambush weapon. Um, so let's see if we can spot got roller, that got special roller. here. It does just get special right now. So it, it would be easy to miss that they you know, got it and then immediately popped it here. Um, so I wouldn't have blamed you if you'd gone down to this, but fortunately your teammate puts on enough pressure that they go down and this is only a trade. Uh -oh. um, so oh, here, uh, this is a, a little bit of a mechanics thing, um, uh -oh. which I'm not going to dwell on too much. But So you're, you're firing shots at this brush, right? And the first several of them haven't hit. At this point, you want to be backing up because what the brush is going to do is they're going to get into range of you, um, so that they can do enough damage to splat you before you can back away. Um, and then they're just going to pop up and do that damage. So you, you're on a timer right now. Once the brush gets to about here, there's basically nothing you can do about it. Um, you need to do more DPS to them while they're approaching you, because otherwise they will win the 1v1. Um, now, in this situation, uh, I'm actually surprised they don't just go in and like take an off angle and, and pick you here. That's what I would expect them to do. The inkjet isn't a terrible play. Um, it can potentially you know zone you out a little bit, but I think they had a freer pick and they probably could have saved the inkjet for later. Um, now they're forcing themselves to hit some kind uh, of long range inkjet shots. Have a bad time. Um, and uh, you know there's no guarantee that they they get a pick out of that. So the Hydra does come in and clean the, the splat up for the inkjet here. And now you're not in a good position anymore because you're a, num a member down. You've got at least one or two that are respawning because one of them recently traded over there. 
uh, and they have full numbers on the field already with a Hydra looking at an angle that can hit you. So you might be able to stall zone a little kite. bit, but you really uh, need to start backing up. And I do really like that at this moment you recognize, okay, it's time to get keep out of here. Keep the zone painted as long as I can. I gotta get out. Even as you're finishing up, I'm gonna keep the zone painted as long as I can. You're already leaving. And that's awesome. That's great recognition, great reaction to the situation in the game. I gotta get out. All right, so this play here, um, with this much blue ink in front of you, uh, first of all, I'm worried about the roller. Um, you know, if we, we haven't called oh, out where they're up. at, if we haven't out. spotted them somewhere, and I'm looking to see if I spot them somewhere. I don't really know where they are for sure. They could be literally right here waiting to shark you, you know? Um, so painting just a little bit further forward so that if they want to come around the corner and get you, they have to paint a little bit more. That's probably a safer play. It's going to alert this player to you earlier, but the shots that you're firing right now are already doing that. Like, um, this is another situation where you're firing and missing, and you keep firing for a little bit longer than is safe. Um, if this were Devi, you'd already be splatted before you ever got off the bridge. Um, she would, you know, spot that. You'd maybe get, like, two or three shots off, and then she'd just swim back, angle up, and laser you from there. Because um, you don't have any cover from this position. While you're dropping, your trajectory is very, very predictable. Um, and you don't want to be dropping into this anyway if you haven't already damaged the Hydra significantly. Because the Hydra out DPSs you by a lot, almost by like a factor of two. It is an extremely, extremely fast kill time. And so even if you know you're hitting your shots right away, if they're hitting their shots too, you still just lose. Um, so you either need to have the jump on them or um, you need to just kind of disengage at a certain point. Now, this Hydra still is not firing at you. They're still Shut shooting at something else. Um, and so that's an awareness problem on their end. But, like, by the time you land, like, they should already have kind of just aimed at you and lasered you down. Um, you're dropping down without cover into enemy territory you don't have anybody else who's really taking an off angle on this guy like yeah i guess they're shooting at someone but they could just like turn a few degrees to the left and be hitting you now so this fight i definitely don't agree with got the hydra got the hydra another th thing that doesn't go great about this is that um even if you get this this pick you're landing in enemy ink and you're doing this in a very visible way so that even if you trade their, their teammates are very likely to be around to be able to clean this up. So you're very likely dropping into, at best, a one-for-one -one trade. And the thing is, they don't, have a, uh, they don't have a penalty right now. So as soon as they're able to just, like, cap the zone here... Got the Hydra! Got the Hydra! Your trade leaves thing in, things in the status quo, and the status quo is they have control of the zone, and they're scoring. Um... So not only does that fight, you know, have a high likelihood of failure, it also leaves you in a position, unless you, like, win a 1v2 in enemy ink, where they have control of the zone for longer. Okay. Yes. Nice snap. Nice. teammate gets a great 1v1 win there. Um, you know, that's a position where it's like, you kind of need to play it by ear. Like, if you really think you can take the fight, then go for it. If not, you know, it's fine just to stall and wait for teammates to arrive. But because they were able to take it, you now have the advantage of being able to cap the zones, set up some uh, paint control around the zones because you don't have to spend time painting the zones themselves and uh, be ready for the enemy team to push back in. Enemy team is more staggered than you guys are, so you have yes. some time to get back into position. That was a really oh, crucial pick snaps. that Snaps got there. I was so there. close to being a wife. All right. Um... So Torpedo comes in from here, and my next question is, where is this Junior? As soon as they have enough ink for another Torpedo, they're liable to bubble combo me. And so, where is this guy? Um, roller drops, so that's a more immediate concern, I guess. Uh, and they miss everything and, and get splatted, so that's awesome. They really probably should have splatted you there. They, they clearly cannot see exactly where you are, even though you stood up to shoot at the torpedo. So that's an awareness problem on their part. You probably should be dead, but your teammate should be able to trade this back. So not bad positioning anyway. And since they missed, you guys were able to just pin pinch them between the two of you and get them. 
Um, there's a lot of really good team play like this that we see in these matches here where you guys will intentionally take positions on, you know, off angles or opposite sides of someone and take fights together. I love seeing that. All right, so one of them is dropped here. Now, this guy right here isn't a huge threat right now. They, they don't have, like, special or anything. Their team is two down. In fact, one of them is disconnected at this point. You don't really have to chase this. If you chase this, you have to think, I'm isolating myself from my teammates. Is that worth it? Um, you will have right side peak advantage, you know, all the way around these corners, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, but what if they get in position above you and drop on you? You know, what if they are setting up an ambush? They're going to swim around a corner, wait for you to swim around it, and then splat you as you push forward or something like that. You know, you've got to be keeping really close track of where they are and also where their Hydra is watching if you're intending to, like, actually push this here. Wait, I want... I like that you back up at this point. They've got height advantage over you. You don't want to get underneath this ledge. Uh, you want to just kind of stay back, play the space that you've got. You've all got all this paint behind you. Good recognition, quick recognition on the DC. So you, that clearly shows you're watching the heads up display above. Lots of uh, good juniors awareness. Juniors up on bridge. Juniors up on bridge. So we're calling them juniors on bridge. And that's good that you recognize that because, like, yeah, you you like can't see them from here but you know you know they're throwing torpedoes over or you know because this was the guy who came from the right side so you know where they are um so i like that you know you've, you're showing object permanence that's something that we like to talk about like you're recognizing when a player has moved um and thinking you know keeping a mental map of where they're going to be and predicting their movements because a lot of times you can get picks from just expecting where someone's going to be Okay, so now the bubbles are coming in from the right, and I would want to be swimming away from this immediately. If that bubble pops, you get splatted. Um, and pushing out onto the zone like this, this was a really good shark on the roller's part. I was surprised to find them there. But you didn't really have anyone in front of you clearing the way. So there's, you know, strictly speaking, if I look at that situation from a few seconds ago right here, clearly someone's contesting the zone is one thing we know, because there's all this blue ink on the other side, there's all this blue ink on my end. So there's definitely some kind of push that's starting on this end. Um, we've had a player go down recently, like we've got bubbles coming in from this side. This is a sign to me that the enemy team is pushing, that uh, they're getting ready to go. And you don't see any of your teammates with you. I would want to just be hightailing it back to ramp. You know, If they get the zone, they get the zone, that's fine. Um, what's not fine is if your team ends up staggering. Because uh, that is how they're able to hold the zone for a long time. Uh, roller got me. Roller got me. So, team does flank the, nice. the Hydra there. And really good cleanup by those two players there. Um, this is just, you know, your two players outplaying the other team. Um, really good positioning they took. And really good fight they took. Numbers-wise, they probably shouldn't have won that. Uh, snaps, I'm jumping to you. I do also like that they are pushing up as far as they possibly can as soon as they get that control. Um, they're trying to meet the opponents and force the fights further away from the zone so that that way, even if they just lose straight up right away, the other team still has a while before they can actually make their way down to the zones. You know, you're buying yourself time, maintaining the status quo. Uh, I'll go babysit zone. Uh, babysitting zone isn't the most important thing if your team is already pushed pretty far up you know you got to think like if they are all spawning which is the situation we happen to be in right now there are only so many places they can come out if we have all of those places covered they'll never get to the zone um and you want the fight to happen off the zone rather than on the zone if the fight happens on the zone and you get splatted it might give them the zone faster and if they beat you they immediately have access to the zone instead of having to swim back to it and giving you time off your respawn clock. Um, so in this position, instead of backing up and leaving your frontliners in like a 2v4 situation, I would try and stay, you know, maybe not right up with them, but a little bit further back so that you can support them in the event that a fight breaks out that you can help with. Because um, like you threw a bomb up on a bridge. There is no physical way that any player can be on the bridge right now of the other team um now what you might be worried about is you know someone coming out to the right 
But even if you're worried about someone coming out to the right, just take right street, take their right street. And that way you can still see your teammates and what's going on with them. You can still help your teammates, but you can also stop someone from dropping out to the right. But see, now you've backed up and your whole team has gone down. I have to imagine, you know, if you're up there taking an off angle with these guys, you might at least have been able to trade one of those splats back. So now the game is going to go on for a little while. Oh, uh, with three down, you do not want to be pushing onto the zone there. That's the first place they're going to be thinking once they get a big fight win like that. So you're going to run into the enemy team that way. And uh, when you're at the bottom of the zone like this, you're at a height disadvantage against them. So the roller is actually able to paint your feet from that range where they probably wouldn't have been able to do that if they had been on even ground with you. Oh, so gosh. Yep, yep, they got me. For multiple got me. reasons, you didn't want to be down there. So now... I would be calling that the roller is going to be in our street. Granted, they are just trying to rickroll their way up there instead of moving optimally uh, or playing sneaky or anything. So maybe your teammates just see that. Uh, but, you know, we want to know where the roller is so that players don't drop over ledges. Uh, this is a map where there are so many ledges that are easy to drop down to, to get into the zone from. And uh, if a teammate isn't aware that there's someone pushing in there, you know, if they haven't maybe checked the map on their rollout, um, that's a really easy pick for a roller to get. So I would be calling out, roller our ramp, roller our ramp. Um, and maybe now that I'm seeing it develop, one flanking left. Because ah. you can, you actually see there for a second, there is definitely paint going down on the left sneaky. Uh, what I'm thinking here, you know, is what are the immediate threats to my team? You know, what player positions do they need to know about from this map? Uh, we see paint going down on the left-hand side here. You'll see as I play it right there. Somebody is painting this area right now. And there's also a roller on this side. So if someone just blindly drops into street, they could easily get pinched from the right and the left. You want to make sure that people know those positions. Ah, dang it. I didn't notice. I didn't notice fast enough. All right, so you're able to get a pick on the roller. And uh, this player doesn't come in in time to help the roller. It's more on the roller for pushing it too fast than it is yeah, on that player to be to zone again. I have no idea how the, the Hydra doesn't just laser you here. Like, granted, you know, they're looking at the zone, but this is a really strange position to hold their zone from because it makes you so vulnerable to the other team pushing from street. If I'm a Hydra in this position, I'm thinking I'm trying to control their street. That's what this position is really good for. Um, and they should also know, you know, their teammate just had an encounter with you and is now backing up like that's something that the hydra player should kind of be paying attention to because if you know maybe they're thinking the junior is going to be helping them out if somebody rushes them then well that's that's the canary in the cage you know that's their warning sign that has just flown the coop i, I don't know why they're unaware of you taking this position yeah. against them i guess they're expecting that they can just retreat by dropping down and to be fair you do miss a lot of shots here Rather than trying to get on the, the box right now, um, you know, if you get up on the box, they're going to know it's coming before the shots hit them. I would just stay, you know, at range here and aim up and hit these shots from down here. That way they have less time to react. Um, they're, they're given less of a warning. Since they're looking away from you, you're, you're more shooting them in the back than you are coming up and tapping them on the back shoulder. The capture zone again. Like those shots behind them, that audio cue probably clued them in that they needed to drop down here. Um, and so they have a much better chance of getting away. Now, they sh still shouldn't get away. In your position here, especially since they're shooting at someone who's on the zone, I would still stay standing on top of the block. Um, yeah, we have three minutes to capture Because if you're zone again. up here, you have height advantage over them. They have to aim, like, way up at a really odd, awkward angle. And if this fight ends up going bad, you can always just swim backwards and be behind cover all of a sudden. Um, so you, you still have that option if you don't drop here. But once you drop, you're in a ton of blue ink. For all you know, this Hydra is going to laser your teammate and then have charge left for you. Uh, and you miss these shots and you're also low on ink. So for a variety of reasons, you pr should probably get splatted here. We'll see if that actually that happens. I nope, they uh, looks like they run out of charge there at an inopportune moment. Uh, so you are lucky for that. You know, it's poor ink management on their part, but if they have a teammate even who's in position to help you, they could probably splat you here. Um, it is good that, you know, you're you're strafing at that point, but 
Um, again, taking the, the fight from a position where you can retreat, from a position where you have shots earlier and you're not, not alerting them to you, um, that would probably have been better and made it been a lot better of a guarantee that you would get the pick. Got Hydra, got Hydra. Okay. All right. Uh, when you get a pick like that and you've cleared out left tree, you're immediately turning and looking back at the zone. I've seen this a couple times now. I guess maybe you're worried about the right-hand side, but from this position, what you really want to be doing as a team is pushing up and taking control of their street. Um, and, you know, if you're going to go up the wall on the right and come over on that side, I, I guess that helps. You know, that's going to accomplish that goal. But you're also going to keep yourself out of play for like five seconds. Whereas if you pushed up their ramp and then just went to the right from there, then you'll be in play for longer. Um, you won't be like taking yourself out of the situation just to relocate. Um, so I would be pushing up with the rest of your team here. Okay, armor coming in. Um, you also would have, you know, seen that player coming earlier and been able to help your teammate earlier. Now that they're wiped, you know, just kind of push all the way up. And if you are worried about that right-hand side, just go over to the right side of street and paint that. No reason for you to be staying on the zone when they're all wiped, like I mentioned earlier. Yeah, uh... I see that. Like, you just spent, what, like eight seconds or something swimming from here back to your side zone, back to the other side. What you've accomplished in doing that is you've gained this much special charge. And you have no idea what the enemy positions are at this point. You're not map checking to spot that. So that move back and forth didn't really get you anything. What could have got you something is if you'd taken control of their street, there's probably a lot of enemy paint there. So you're not only slowing them down from getting back to the zone and you know putting yourself more directly in their way, you're also painting for special better. On top of that, because you can look up over the ledges more easily from, from that position, you're going to spot where they're coming from, even if you're not using the map as much. Um, and you're also going to be closer to your teammates so that if they do try and rush them, you're there to help them with the fight. Um, that whole going back and forth sequence there didn't really accomplish much for you. Yeah. Lots of missed shots here, and uh, yeah. at like an uh, X-Rank level, I see them. if you miss that many shots, the Hydra's already splatted you. Um, so this is a situation where I'd want to like maybe strafe to the right if you're going to try and keep the fight going so that you can, you know, they're moving to the right here, they're looking to the right, so... Um, if you strafe to the right, you're going to stay in their range, in range of them for longer, and that's going to give you better shots on them and also maybe throw their aim off if they try to shoot back. They should be trying to shoot back. Instead, they shoot at something else and then just back up behind the wall. Ah, uh, roll um, So the Hydra is definitely playing this a little bit clumsily, but what also happens while you're just aiming up and shooting at them is the roller has all of the time in the world to close with you. Um, it looks like they might have gotten your teammate before uh, you. Let me see how see that developed. So yeah, you do have a teammate in street there. But it looks like they go down right there. I, for that teammate, I would be trying to call like, um, one got me their street, one got me their street, roller, 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 or something like that. Um, and uh, trying to like alert my teammates that there is imminent danger right near you. Um, that might have gotten you out of this in time. I don't know if it would have. Um, one thing that also could have helped you here, potentially, uh, you see this corner right here? This corner is actually really great for giving you cover. Because if you duck behind this to the left, not only are you making it so you're harder to hit uh, because you're around the corner, you're also making it harder to hit because you're over a, a slope and you're giving yourself right side peak advantage if someone tries to push you. This is a really, really strong defensive position to take if someone's pushing you from this direction. And if you had fled to the left here instead of just trying to run straight away, so like if you go left here and cut the angle, you kind of put this glass between you and them, that's a faster way to get to safety than trying to retreat straight backwards. So I would be putting myself to the left first and then backing up. Ah, roller got me. So now the roller is pushing forward. You are able to, you know, your team is able to uh, kite back and handle that really well. And they're able to take the other player out too. And the Hydra doesn't provide enough support. So it looks like you guys are in a position to win this now. Yeah, this is 
a total lockout right now. The only player alive is this K Junior. The only thing they're going to be able to do I is pop I bubbles on the zone and maybe neutralize for a second. Or, you know, if they splat all of you, I guess that would work. Let's but go! Because you guys swarm on that as well as you do, because they're the only threat on the map, and all four of you can kind of take different angles and distract them and force them to use their resources off the zones. Um, you do a great oh. job, and you're able to hang on like to the lead. So, generally, very happy with the team play that I'm seeing from you guys. Like, that is at a way higher level than I'm expecting based on the level that you guys are, like, in-game and, like, um, just the the mechanics that I'm seeing. Like, for how new you guys are to the game, that kind of team play is really impressive to see. Um, so that that's really cool, and I, I hope you guys keep that up and keep playing together like that. Um, aim mechanics are one thing to talk about, and that's something that, you know, everyone is going to slowly learn over the course of these levels, where... You want to be making sure that as soon as you're missing shots, you're disengaging and moving somewhere. Because um, like we were talking about, you know, the Hydra, they had some opportunities that they didn't really take advantage of to get rid of you in a lot of these positions. It might be that they were stick aiming. It might be that they were just putting the blinders on to focus on only shooting one person and not noticing when they got flanked. There are a lot of different ways that they probably could have handled these situations and been a much greater threat to you guys. Um, also, pay attention to enemy ink, especially against a weapon like a roller or a brush, where um, you don't want to start engaging a fight if it involves you dropping into enemy ink. Um, that's taking away your escape route and also making you very visible. Um, that is exactly what a roller or a brush is going to be looking for. Um, so definitely keep an eye out for situations where you're kind of just throwing yourself at them like that. Um, that's going to get punished more and more as time goes on. Um, but uh, if you have any more questions, definitely reach out to me on Discord. Thank you for submitting the footage. Um, we're going to move on now because we've got a, a doozy of a VOD review coming up. We've got a, a big old thing, a big team. Big uh, this is, this is uh, yeah, the, the Octo Expansion thing, yes. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I need to scroll up here so that I can actually I was like, this. Jamie's going to make a pun out of this because I could have sworn I heard my name the first time you said doozy, and I'm like, that's not what you said. Uh... Okay. I believe this is the third one yeah, here. That's, that's I'll just make sure your screen sharing is exposed. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah, it didn't really matter with that one because Gooms wasn't in there with us, but I will definitely screen share here with you guys. Okay. So, uh, this should be the third game uh, of this map mode. They were doing a scrim where they were repeating the map modes, and a lot of them were pretty negatively affected by lag. Um, you can even see from the overhead in some situations that yellow players are teleporting here and there. Um, so which is just one. <laughs> oh, okay. And you, might even, and you might even actually catch a glimpse of a couple moments. Do, does that one player leave summer. for this match then? Was it sh mm. uh, Shoulds? Yeah. But, gotcha. Uh, so, so they're, they're not in this match, why, and so this yeah, one was a little is, bit better. This is, a, this is why we're, we chose this one overall, because the other two that we did on this one was like... <laughs> yeah, gotcha, for sure, for sure. Okay, um, so we'll talk about comps for a second. Um, they are playing... Um, this is a pretty meta comp, I would say. Um, they've got double armor, so they're going to be able to push in pretty aggressively. They've got, obviously, a very aggressive Neo Splash, um, and then I really like the uh, foil flingza on this map mode in particular. Missiles are insane here. This weapon paints for missiles extremely quickly. It's also a roller, so it hits up over ledges really easily. So that has a lot of utility both on pushing out so that you can secure the area below you and on pushing back in for securing stacks, for taking out snipe. Uh, there's a lot that a roller can do on this map, and uh, they've got a lot of range with the vertical flicks, so they can kind of control lanes really well, which is great for the, the edges here. So great weapon for this map mode in general, I think, and uh, so I generally like their comp. And then looking for you guys here, um, you've got the custom Hydra here, which... Uh, False! Or not, I know the custom... I keep thinking <laughs> that, like, the normal Hydra, the default Hydra... But it's the custom. <laughs> You've got the V Hydra. Thank you. <laughs> you're you're playing it a little custom by not playing the custom, uh, is a way to put it. 
so I'm this not is the... gonna be me if I'm not being normal. Like if I'm it's being the... normal, there's a problem. It's the uh, the splashdown hydra, which um, basically the only utility you're probably going to get out of that are jump ins or on maybe capping the zone if you're alone. It's just a faster way to do it. Um, it was for bomb rush cancels because every time we play this map mode, there is a bomb rush and I cancel it. So. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, and that's also you know useful if they're not pushing in with the bomb rush. Uh, obviously, if somebody is taking an off angle while you deal with that bomb rush, um, you're, you're still at risk of getting shot out of it. The bombs can also impact you because the the suction rush, you know, suction bombs have a really big blast radius. Sometimes they will just do some chip damage at the top of the splashdown jump, stuff like that. So. And also, I've just been using the bomb in general, like the chicken for the stacks. Mm -hmm. And and I've chickens. Been using it to help my bucket. Push. Chickens do have a lot of utility in figuring out where the other team is. Um, it's good scouting. So there are definitely some advantages to using it. Um, we will see, you know, in a couple of places it get can it's, gets canceled, but in a couple of places it ends up being helpful. So um, things to consider. But Ray is going right, and I believe beforehand they called that they were going to be going right. Um, and then it looks like Jamie and Taku both go left. Um, so the the play here it seems is Ray is going to slosh up and make life difficult on the stacks so that the rest of the team can take control of mid and then if Ray needs help Devi is going to be able to provide cover fire and stop someone from rushing Ray. Now, one thing I would say for Ray is that there are a couple of positions that they take in this match where they don't give themselves an escape route. One of the first things that I like to do if I'm going to take this right side position in court um, you know, he's already going to be sloshing up over the side here, right? People are going to know that the slosher's here. It's not not like a uh, like he's trying to get there stealthily or something. Look at all the purple paint that's already on this spot. So they know to be worried about left already. Painting one line in this direction so that he can escape and get back to this ramp or behind this pillow um is not going to do anything adverse it's not going to like give away his position but it will give him a way out if he starts to get rushed unexpectedly um i would like to be seeing that because this is actually a really really phenomenal position right back here for kiting someone back and stalling um it's a great place to be if your team loses the fight in general and you need to back up uh it's a way that you can kind of stay in and keep applying pressure and keep painting for special without a ton of risk of really getting collapsed on, um, at least very quickly before you can jump out. Because uh, you can always use this pillow, you can always duck behind here and have right side peak. You can use the height advantage of the ramp and back all the way up. If you back all the way up, you have this corner to back around or you could retreat back into street and be behind the box. Like you can run them around in circles for so long in this area of the map right here if you end up in a bad position. So I would like to see Ray giving himself access to that instead of just focusing mm -hmm on what's on the right here. Because like, he's making himself visible. He's missiled right now. The enemy team is getting ready to push. They've just popped armor. Where can he run to? If he runs off in this direction, he has nowhere to paint and the missiles are gonna paint his feet and he's gonna be in a lot of trouble from anyone pushing this way. Um, if he runs back towards Freezer, he's taking his missiles with him across the zone and everyone else is gonna be bunched up there and he's gonna be forced into low ground. And that's just not a good position because he can't see anything. Um, it's a little bit better for the, the slosher, I guess, out of any of the weapons that are here. But it's still not really a place that you want to be if you've got like a roller above you or something. Yeah, so yeah, Ray's kind of stuck there, once but... this push goes out. Um, and yeah, Devi's trying to get in position, you know, to help out. But the, the splash is already on Ray at this point. Ray needs to be able to kite back a little bit sooner than this if Devi's going to have any chance of helping him out. And so the splash, I believe, Broken armor. Um, they, they actually don't get the pick on Ray and they get forced back a little bit. So from here, the splash should probably go down, but the zap is all also pushing Ray. Okay, so the splash goes down. That's best case scenario there. That's Devi coming in to save the day. Um, I'm surprised Ray survives that. I'm surprised they miss enough shots that... Um, that happens the way him. it does. <laughs> what was that? I said, I think I scared him because I saw I was like, I think they saw I was like in the middle of a charge. So I don't think they knew how much charge I had. So they were kind of dodging out of the way a bit. So I couldn't hit them. 
Okay. So, is what it looked like from my view. <laughs> Maybe it was the second game I watched instead of the third, uh, like, where I'm remembering this from. I did watch both, but um, at one point, Ray definitely just dies from getting pushed on left-hand side. And... Uh, yeah, that, that was the second game where the massive okay. initial beginning lag happened. Right, like, where, where, where they, still... like, get a quad on the entire uh -huh. team just going one by uh -huh. one. Yeah. Um, zoomed across the map. Because what's happening meanwhile, uh, which we should also probably talk about here, is that Jamie and Taku are taking a fight on the left-hand side. I would prefer, I think, to be seeing more people focus on one side, like one fight at a time. Because, um, like, in this situation, you're taking two 2v2s, right? You could be taking a 3v2 and having one other person skirmish and just not engage very much. Um, and I feel like that's more advantageous, but in this, Broken so I either want to see like Jamie rotating over to help with this. Cause Jamie being there, this is an easy 2-0 cleanup. Um, and then Taku just has to kind of be like, they're coming from left, push right to left. And then once you guys finish over here, Jamie and Ray can rotate over to the left and push with Taku and probably clear these guys out just fine. Uh, meanwhile, Taku can kind of like paint for special cause Taku's really close to special and stall out on the zone for a little while and make it so that you guys have this this fight oh, here. Uh, that's advantageous now taku you know sees the roller and locks eyes with them and is like you die today the thing is taku probably should have seen that the slosher was over here um like they're sloshing they're here they've sloshed multiple right? times there and yeah like they're they're sharking on the wall now but that's something that Taku, you know, was on stacks and probably should have been able to see. So knowing that there's somebody here, like deciding to drop down here, the, the roller is out of range for one thing. Like the roller just kind of kites back and they're behind cover now. So this drop fails effectively because now, you know, how does Taku push a roller that's behind cover like this that has longer range that can hit over the top of the cover? Like this is really dangerous. The best case scenario now is that Taku is able to focus this person that they didn't see earlier uh, that Maybe Jamie's one. trying to help with. Jamie ends up trading Come with the slosher, one. but oh, the roller is going to get her there. Um, so for Taku, I would say one that's knowing your range, knowing that you can't just drop down and immediately be hitting that flingza. Two, it's awareness of where that tri slosher was, because I feel like that's something, you know, just based on the overhead. And maybe, you know, I don't get to see Taku's camera, so maybe there's some information that I'm missing there that maybe Taku was looking at something else, or um, I don't know, you know, exactly what they can see. But that's something where I feel like they probably could have had the information to know that the the slosher was there. They probably could have had the information to know that dropping down was not going to get them a, a splat on the roller, and so that I don't think that fight was something that Taku wanted to take. Jamie coming in and helping with that, you know, that's fine, I think. Like, if Jamie sees, oh, there's a fight going on, I can help with this, then that's good. Um, and, so, you know, Jamie's being supportive there. But uh, it ends up in a situation where, you know, Jamie's in a 2v1. Jamie's able to trade that back, which is the best he can do. And then Taku is stuck in the, the 1v1 that was doomed from the beginning and isn't able to win that. So we end up in a 2v2 here. Um it is the most inexplicable thing to me why the roller jumps out in this position. I have no earthly idea why after getting both of you and having teammates who could have called out where the other two were, they decided that they needed to jump. That's so confusing to me. Like they could have had map presence. He jumped out. Yes. Like it is, it is a little odd. I wonder if it was just to come back and regroup with everybody to come back in because they only had the one on the one side. Why not uh, just I'm paint not, for special? Scared. Like, why not shark? Well, they have special. Yeah. I guess maybe they're jumping out to try to try and preserve it. I don't know. They they surrender so much map pressure. Like, imagine there's a roller that you guys don't know about now. Like, somewhere in the yellow ink. Like, they could be here for now. They, they could be here on zone. They could be here. Like, if you guys don't know where this person is, then that's pressure. And they're totally giving it up, so. There's a little, because I'm pretty sure ray and i wouldn't have seen it um but like taku called it that it jumped back but i mean i'm i'm not sure maybe it just yeah 
I, it's very, very strange to me. So two behind right and two left. So now you guys just kind of get to walk into mid, uh, despite having a two v two situation. <laughs> like they kind of get gave that up for you there, mm -hmm. but they are spawning out faster than we are, because uh, the picks that we got happened first. So they have a little bit of initiative here. They also have a special. Um, seeing this much paint coming towards me and seeing this few teammates here, I'm immediately thinking, okay, I need to have an escape route. I need to have a way back out of this. You know, if, if missiles are launched at me right now, where do I go? One just dropped into me. I'll take it. Like, I'm very worried about your positioning, but we'll see if you are I've got right. or have reason to be. To okay, you do manage this really well. Yeah, no, it's just until the missiles land. The only thing I fear there is burst bombs coming at my face. Otherwise, they can't hit me. Yeah, like if, if a burst bomb does like reach all the way, then you're good, but you actually just picked that person. So yeah, yeah this is fine. Yeah, it was just the missiles. Otherwise, that's a primary spot for me on this map whenever we're playing like a neutral game. If I can hold that, I have their whole left side control. Mm -hmm. Ray's in a very, very aggressive position right here, especially when you know the rest of the team is missiled. Um, if he's going to take this position, this is like a, I'm going to poke someone's armor off and then run away sort of thing to me. Um, I don't want to be committing to a fight from here because Devi's been pushed back by missiles. And so, you know, the one person who so far on all of the rollouts has been in a position to help me is not in that position anymore. Now, maybe Jamie can come in and help, but it's like, it's a junior. If a tri slosher is up on the stacks above it, I don't really know what the junior does. They like throw a bomb and then sit there and, and wait like a good little boy for it to blow up. That's about all you can do. Um, <laughs> so... Ray pushing here. I'm a little worried he gets collapsed on. I do like the extra aggression to distract from Ray, but Ray's also, I don't hear Ray calling that there's a fight yet. <laughs> okay, on my side. Uh, yeah, I, I think Ray never said anything about the, the zap pushing him until he died. I'm going to splash down right here, though. And then back up. <laughs> uh, okay, on my side. Yeah, I, like Ray yeah. could have been calling seconds earlier that there was someone pushing him. And I'm sure Jamie would have been on top of that and at least traded uh, it back. Uh, Jamie was actually starting to call it, mm -hmm. but it was just as Ray died. But yeah, no, there was no initiation of the fight right happening over there until it was already too late. Mm -hmm. I am going to splash down right here, though. Um, yeah, because, like, even though, you know, it is good for them to be following up with your splashdown. Like, you've capped the zone. Now this player has their feet painted. Like, this is a pretty good pick for them to go for. I'd want Ray to still be saying something. And if, you know, mm -hmm. the rest of the team isn't available to help, I'd also want Ray to have an escape route so they can get away from this. Like, it looks like he's trying to win this just through firepower by just burst bomb rushing the, the zap to death. But what he could be doing is using the burst rush in combination with cover instead of standing out in the open. Okay, on my side. Roller, uh, roller, roller. Roller. I got the roller. I traded. Um, and then back up. <laughs> okay, what happens when Taku uh, here? It looks like everyone then rotates to the right now that that fight has happened, um, which is unfortunate because that is exactly the moment at which Taku makes contact with the roller here. It looks um, like the rotate to the right. Like, it looks like I did, but you can see I'm still I aiming got the, roller, the same direction it. Taku is. It's just, I called, like, okay, and now back up, but Taku went in. <laughs> and then back up. <laughs> okay, on my side. Uh, I've got you right. And then back up. Taku actually does back up, but then starts taking shots yeah. from around yeah, the other side of cover. And then goes slightly forward. Because, like, I knew the roller was there. I didn't have a charge, and I was just like, I don't want Taku to die to this roller. So I was just like, and then back up, because I knew she was with me. I knew she was the one who was with me, but unfortunately, she went back in for the roller. I traded. God damn it. Jamie's in a position here where uh, it's like, I feel like a lot of sports get into this mindset of, it's my job to paint the zone, you know. By default, I should be painting the zone. Here... I feel like you need to win a fight before you can paint the zone because Jamie's the only painting weapon. They have a painting weapon that also slays and it's another slaying weapon. They're going to be like running at you. And with Devi, you know, the, the Hydra is only going to paint so well. And it's also out of position to have charge right now. Um, so Jamie's in a pretty scary spot considering the 2v2 situation. Like, if I'm Jamie here, I don't even really feel comf comfy with this. I'd be like maybe throwing a bomb around the corner 
shooting a little bit, but trying to shark and see where they're at and where they're pushing. Where do we got, Jamie? Oh, below I'm down. Okay. He's coming I up the wall. I'm gonna die. Yeah, yeah, just back up, back up. I don't know if I can jump okay. in time. Okay, good jump out. There you go. Yeah, no. Um, because you had no idea whether they were pushing you or not. You did a good job of putting yourself at an angle that's harder for them to hit or that they won't expect you to be at. Um, you get out of there, I and now let's action. make sure that the other, the rest of the team I'm doesn't stagger armor. in. Okay. Okay, yeah. Jamie's gonna be painting for armor. Um. I'm a little worried about Taku's positioning oh, here. Let's see how this turns out. Uh, Taku's engaging a little bit there. There's one I have missiles. Okay, she she just kind of spears and then backs up. I like that. Yeah. It, it gives them the impression like, oh, someone might be coming from right, and then she rotates around and comes from mid oh, instead or something. Missile three, one. Uh, what what happens with Ray here? So Ray's up on top. Ray decides to drop yeah, okay. and try to force this guy out. I think he's bomb rushing. And so I, I think, think when Ray is... challenges the bomb rush, he ends up getting fenced in. And now he's stuck in a corner against a short range weapon with absolutely no support. Like this look at how much communication moment. 100%. Yeah, look at how much yellow paint there is between him and the rest of the team right now. Like this is just a solo play. I don't even play. think we called in like a way to really go when we were coming back in to try Probably to initiate no a counter. Okay. I think. I like, think what's, Jamie, well, what's, Jamie what's, said he was coming for out armor. Yes. Right. But we didn't. We didn't really say wait for it and then push yeah, this way. Like, like we did in, pr in previous matches. Oh, and I know Ray's been calling out when he goes to do something. Yeah. We did call case, out right didn't... splash, but like Debbie's already looking left, and that's the only person yeah. who could possibly help here. Yeah, no, when he called that, I was okay. not focusing on that at the time. Um, it was just definitely much of a miscommunication on where we should actually focus. And so it Missile had three. kind of us a little scattered here. So we mm -hmm. got Ray alone. Like, I could have probably helped the best I could, but that's a hard angle for me to hit. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, I kind of just don't like him trying to retake your court. I don't think your court matters enough to want to devote the amount of time it takes to go down into it. Mm -hmm. um, it's a good position at like rollout because nothing's painted, but when they've got your entire street painted like this, it's just going to take you so long to get out all the way around here and then come all the way back to the zone. Like you're going like half the length of the entire map to get one guy out of there who's already wasted his bomb rush in the wrong direction. You know, like. Once you see the bomb rush, I would say just like hightail it through street and make them realize, oh wait, these bombs should be going on zone right now, and we've and you've got armor and you can push the zone and you can keep them out. So, um, getting caught in here was definitely a mistake on Ray's he part. He was on right side by himself. Oh fuck! I ran out of ink. Slash right. The, that's uh, I ran out of ink. Call is number one. I mean, it's not keeping the comms clean. It's like. Um, darn something went wrong you know you're kind of giving a reason why something happened that didn't go well which i'm guilty of this all the time to be fair I do it you know too. this is this is something that i think like everyone who's you know been on the call here could work on um but your team doesn't need to know why you lost a fight that's not important information for them at the moment they need to know that you lost the fight and where that player is at the very most um and uh, also, that sort of, you know, talking about why the fight went wrong. I didn't talk at all about him running out of ink there, right? I talked about his positioning. Um, a lot of the time, like, things like that, like, yes, he might have run out of ink, but that wasn't the reason he lost the fight, and that's not what he should be focusing on in making sure it doesn't happen again. Pushing in. Broke his armor, got him. Good job recognizing that that one player was loose, and they kind of pushed in a little bit too aggressively, thinking the rest of the team would go with them. I don't know why the zap is over here. Everything is painted at this point, and like that they have an advantage. They should be trying to like use that advantage and push in. I guess maybe they're trying to go for armor, but like they're going. It looks like they're trying to go for me at this rate, and I don't like, know if I see. Them I'm gonna back up a, a little while and like look at what the zap is doing here to get some context. So all this is going on. Like the zap isn't painting places where there's purple ink. They're not going up and pushing to help with fights. They're putting themselves really far out of play because the action is on the top side of the map, if anything, right now. Um, I guess maybe they're worried about you pushing a little in. bit, but like a Broken zap solo gun. pushing into a Hydra. We, we talked about that, that in the last FOD review. That's usually not a good idea. Like they're, they're putting themselves in a place where they're not having a lot of impact for a I lot of no this. Ink. I gotta use this to get ink. Um, it's kind of like they're babysitting the zone, I think. 
um, when they could be painting stuff that matters and like su providing support for the team. Um, they kind of, by being out of play like that, while you guys were in a 4v3, gave gave you a 3v3 and let you stay in the game. Broke his armor, mm -hmm. got him. Nice. That's Hold up, I, miss I have no ink. I gotta use this to get ink. I guess maybe they're trying to focus on getting on drums, armor, but again, they were sitting in places that were already painted all yellow. Like, mm -hmm. they could have painted stacks. Stacks would have given them a lot of paint, or like their street or something, if they really needed armor quickly. So, I'm having trouble, you know, determining what they're thinking Missile was Missile 2 in that. zone? Okay, I'm gonna take the, the right side here at a better angle. Oh. Okay, how could we have spotted this flank coming in? To get ink. So the roller is definitely clearly there. And, zone. like, Taku and Jamie can probably both see that missile they're there. Missile 2 in zone? Also, Taku missiles this person. Yeah, I find it funny because I moved right because I wasn't aware of this, and then the roller is called, it, it, like, once you go forward a couple seconds, I know for a fact the roller is called yeah, right as soon as I make my move. What might have happened there, I guess, because <laughs> missiles, obviously, they give away the opponent's position, but they, they're all, the reticle is always the same size. Mm -hmm. So, like, someone who is here relative to Taku could be here, could be here, could be here and the the indicator would look exactly the same as long as they're on that same line so what might have happened i think is that taku thought that this player backed way up and that they were able to just kind of start pushing forward and ignore them when instead they were like right next to taku that's my guess but yeah that that's a flank that i feel like could probably have been spotted like jamie at least i think had vision on that so that's something where you know that's one of the, the flank angles. That's something that, you know, we should be at least keeping in our peripheral vision and calling out once a, a push is starting. Because now we're one down and you guys are in a really difficult position to hold from. Uh, you've got a tri slosh who's going to come over on the right and you're going to get kind of forced into freezer by this roller here. Roller got me right. He's roller. weak. Roller backed up. And the tri yeah, should get Ray here, right but side. missed shots, I guess. See if we can get a little more pain on this. And Ray is going to be able to use the, the... Why is he jumping? What? Yeah, he's going top left, uh, right. Literally, he could just slosh once and then swim backwards Sorry. and still be in play. Get a little more pain on this zone here on it. I guess better safe than sorry, but, like, you're a tri-slosher. Like, your whole thing is you can go up against almost any weapon in the game and at least trade. Especially at short range. I'm, not, I'm surprised he doesn't force it against Ray here. Um, yeah, he's going top left, uh, right sec. See if we can get a little more paint on this zone here. And, and on it. Could... And, like, you didn't have armor yet, so, yeah, I don't know. I feel like the tri slasher could have done more there and put more pressure on you guys to okay, break so your formation up. Because so now you're able to just kind of reform without being punished at all for Taku going down and uh, kind of push your way back right. into the zone. So now Taku definitely needs some support here. I think Jamie's getting distracted by the the Zap, who, like I mentioned before, is like this this area has been yellow all game. Nobody from your team has pushed here, so I don't know why the Zap keeps trying to drop out on this side. They're putting so many walls between them and anything important that's going on. They're like, I guess maybe they're worried that you're going to take this position, but like nobody's there right now. They can't get armor from this they don't have team support so like even if the hydra is here what's the zap going to do about it they're just going to get lasered right away so i'd really like to see the zap someplace else they're from here right. um right. given that they're left. in you know that position you know, jamie sees the bomb uh, the and that clues them in that there's someone on the left but in the, in the meantime you guys probably could have been putting your three frontliners over on this side using the slosher and using Taku's aggression to get some picks here. And then maybe, you know, once that fight has started, Jamie looks over here and watches for the zap to come in and join the fight. Um, but well, like, since Traded they're bucket, putting uh, themselves so far out of position, I would want to ignore that for the time being, for at least a few seconds and try and get an advantage elsewhere instead of just kind of puppy guarding it. There was something I noted throughout this entire scrim is that with a team like this, there's always this one odd person out of play on one side of the map and the other three are elsewhere. It's something that we are catching up on, so it's actually making a 3v3 when we could be fighting a 4v3. 
And it's just like, okay, come on. <laughs> Let's not focus on this person. We gotta play on the other side. Let's focus forward here, because then we can get these guys uh, and the objective at the same time. Mm -hmm. Taku trading here is honestly the best case scenario, I think, because Taku does not have a lot of support at this point. There's like Ray, who is... I'm not sure I like him dropping here, because he can't hit all of stacks from this position. He can hit some of it, but not all of it. So if Taku pushes up over the top, they have plenty of space to maneuver and just take basically a 2v1 versus Taku. Um, I think Ray either needs to be positioned like directly under it and sloshing up and over for this to be impactful, or Ray should be going in from a more vanilla angle, like from behind the stacks, you sloshing up and over, or from trying to take mid before Taku goes up, goes up over the wall. Um, I feel like Ray's kind of zoned out from the fight. And so when Taku goes in, the best that's going to happen is a trade. And that is what ends up happening. Taku does play it well, but like Ray's mm -hmm. just kind of forced to abandon the fight there and nothing really comes of that push. I got bucket, over this last bucket, night and he said the same thing. He even asked himself, why did I back up here? <laughs> mm -hmm. Ooh, now Ray's going to get flanked. See, when somebody's there putting pressure on the stack, this position's probably okay. But when there's not, Someone is just going to come through closed here. And I think Ray goes down he to this. Him, oh, no, wait. Is my depth perception wrong? So he's... Okay, so Ray is climbing the okay, wall right now. The wall. And he gets and around them. Stack. Okay, that was slick. That was yeah. slick. Yeah, that was very slick. Right back. Um, he's probably still in trouble without any support. Um, what's going on on the rest of the map? Jamie's he's focusing on painting the zone. And Jamie sees this paint coming in. So Jamie's contesting this. Devi's the only person who's able to help. And Devi's too far back. Okay. To hit those shots, so Ray's probably just oh, dead. Yeah. 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 I did poke a few, but that wasn't. A I got one. I did. I trying to paint up. There you go. Okay, we need to hold the zone the best we can. Taku's been in a tricky spot there. I like oh. that uh, she's yeah. not going yeah. in too hard. I got one. After she gets I one, did. like, what I probably would have done is I probably would have gotten that pick and be like, oh, I got one, let's go, let's go, let's go, and nobody's in position to help me, and I rush in and die. Um, Taku is smarter than me, and Taku sits here behind this ledge and waits for support and sits where, you know, she has the ability to see people coming in, where she's got cover, where she's got her own ink, um, and hopes that, like, by the time somebody is on top of her, devi has got her spinny gun spun up. I think go. another thing that Taku yeah, has for her is that she's can. both... Has a slayer yeah, and a supportive yeah, mindset in a 50 yeah, 50 they're, right they're now. Right you, so boring. she knows okay. when she can't go in. <laughs> mm -hmm. So that's really good on her. Now, we've been flanked on right by the roller once before in this match, and it, this right flank has been a problem for the last couple of matches. Um, so. Yeah, the fact that the roller is able to slip by again here and be threatening. I'm actually surprised that it, it goes so poorly for the roller. It looked like they were in position where they could have gotten something, but... I had a fi I had a line of fire going, you can see it. Gotcha. So they, they just run away from <laughs> Debbie yeah, here. Yeah, I, oh. I shot at him and then I looked away instead of going on my the right. stack, yeah, which was yeah, my yeah. mistake, but... Mm -hmm. so I like I the roller flanking right. here because the rest of the team's on the other side and so they're getting you to, like, look both ways but i would really like for them to be kind of engaging or doing something or putting some kind of pressure on let us get this lead oh, but i think they're building me. a counter at the time i think they wanted us to get the lead yeah they're they're yeah. they're very they're playing really really hard around their specials they're like we are not going to attempt to take the zone until we have at least one armor and one other special mm -hmm. it's like very orthodox and that's going to leave you some openings here and they're, they're there to right do you. things. Um, so let's see. Yeah, no, so the roller is trying to get roller stuff going. Okay, they're, they back all the way up here because right. of the missiles, I guess. Um, and then oh. they pop armor. Okay. That, oh, no. I, seeing that they had the missiles there, I guess that makes some more sense that they were just all backing up to avoid dying to missiles. Um, that, that was a good special that, you know, earned you the lead. Um, and then once they popped armor, they were able to start pushing back in. So I, I don't, I don't hate the move on their part to back up like that. Um, Taku doesn't respect the roller that we knew was on right, and so now this is a four v three. Devi is gonna get. I did an utter dumb there, and I knew it too. That's 
that's a uh, frontline maneuver. <laughs> See, Jeez. like, I knew the roller was there, but it was also in the brief moment I forgot, and I'm just like, why did I do this? I know that this, I cannot splash down here because I get cancelled right. from being at the same height. Coming out. <laughs> yeah, and there's right, absolutely oh, nothing know. Jamie does against a Trislaw oh, she's gotten on top of him. I feel like Jamie could probably have spotted that coming since he's on the stack and the roller came from just a straight line right here. Um, so that might be awareness thing, but he was also probably focused on trying to get the zone painted. Uh, and if everybody else is going down, you know, might as well join the club. So this is a dangerous position because if one fight goes badly, they have lead. If two fights go badly, then or like if you stagger from that first fight, then you lose the game. So I want to see everybody regrouping, calling that they're painting for specials, calling, like, be careful, you know, respect ledges, calling where opponents' positions are, you know. We've got to kind of go into uh, defense mode here. Close to Mitchell's armor. I'm close to Splash Zone. Let's see if we get close. Bucket's underneath him. Playing it a little bit scary here, considering they have a, a try and a roller who doesn't happen to be here, but I would be worried about that. Um, going up on here instead of going up from like behind the toilet paper rolls where there's cover is scary to me, but right, looks like left. we uh, get away with it just okay, just fine. Left, one right. I like uh, the angle Ray takes here, where uh, okay, instead of like just going right, straight around the corner, yep. he takes a really wide swing. And I, what I want to see him doing is like sloshing in this direction first, because like obviously hindsight is twenty twenty, but that's where I expect someone's going to be sharking. Um, and there's no way, like, he's going to be able to just push stack by himself. So the, the, the next best place to throw sloshes is either, like, straight in this direction or over the box, Three I would left, say. One right. uh, to be yeah, spotting right. sharks out. Great support there from Taku. So that's a, a great pick. At this point, pop everything, you know. Drop the, the armor to get everybody in. And then get Ray in a prominent position where Ray can start bomb rushing everybody. Get Devi pushing in from the off angle to capitalize on the displacement of the bomb rush. Just like unleash good, 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 good. all of the firepower. Missile two in zone, one on Okay, Taku stays back to fire the missiles, which that'll probably still be fine. Yeah, you guys get the, the cap in time. Uh, did nobody notice the burst shark bomb. over here? Missile two in zone. There was a burst bomb that one was thrown right over there. This is one on right side by himself. I think okay. I did, and that's why I moved, yeah. but I didn't call it. Taku's so calling it, but uh, okay. one right side by himself. They're bomb rushing, uh, and okay. then Taku goes and just gets the, the pick because they're focused on bomb rushing. So that's great mm -hmm. from Taku. Uh, I really like seeing that. Meanwhile, Ray is pushing. Side by himself. Pushing up to get bomb rushing. back side of zone. Uh, they see yeah, that the roller the is there. Rusher. They're threatening them. They force the roller to do things they don't want to. I don't know. I feel like they either want to commit harder to this fight or commit less to this fight because now they've gotten not a lot out of it. The roller is not really that far out of position and the rest of the team's coming in from the other side. Um, but that might be nitpicking. They I'm get the pick eventually. That's awesome. And now you can get, swing around get control of zone. Jamie's going to start calling that there's somebody over here. I really want to see you guys, like, getting people into their street more. Like, you guys have had control in a number of cases and not felt comfy going over here. That's um, our biggest problem is lockouts. That's something we don't, know, don't do that we need to establish more. Like... For every zones game. <laughs> the, the idea here is, like, you want this to be blue. All of this. Mm -hmm. Like, so I... I agreed with Ray, you know, pushing this guy and maybe calling someone to support him so it's not a 1v1 um, so that you can get control of this area and put Devi on right stacks. Mm -hmm. um, like, I agree with Jamie being over here and, and painting this and bombing and stuff so that you can get control of streets so that you can maybe put Ray underneath it and, like, slosh up over the top or something. But, like, just staying back here on zone, you're giving them too much space to get back in. Uh, step on left. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going on left. Okay, there's two over the okay so Ray makes the decision one. to go left. Uh, so we probably want someone to be going with him. Um, he calls that he's going left, and someone help me out here. Jamie comes to try and help, but Jamie's not going to be a ton of help in that position. Um, I feel like Ray went a little bit fast, but if you guys are able to trade back on this side, it should be okay. Yeah, you can do trade back. Oh, but Jamie goes down trying to help. 
Yeah, I think the, the biggest thing, this is another ball. thing we kind of like yeah, stopped and retraced several bucket. times with that specific play. Um, we knew Ray yeah, kind of went in really quickly. Part. We think the biggest thing Jamie could have did is actually go at a straight angle and instead of the L over, over and at least threw right a bomb the over. Actually, um, mm -hmm. But otherwise, yeah, that was not a thing to be one at that moment in time. And yeah, the way that you around. fix that is by having a plan. Um, yep. Something that Brock.com talked us through in our, our coaching session with him was at, at the, a certain level of competitive play, you just want to have a plan for every single map mode. Like on lockout, where is everybody? On retake, where is everybody? On defense, where is everybody? Like have those three positions mapped out and like, you know, X's and O's drawn on the chalkboard and just have that for everything all of the like 80 something map mode combinations so that there's never a question of like uh i'm gonna go left you know i think yeah. just not knowing where to go is why the lockout is failing here because you're and trying to put the idea together on the spot and by the time you've figured it out nobody's in position to do that and they come in for free we have done that it's just we haven't done it with ray yet so it's now we just have to do it again and reestablish mm -hmm. that so we discussed this last night so we have the plan made out now that we know because again this is like our first this is our uh, second second official scrim with ray so we're still working out the kinks mm -hmm. and then now establishing the plan so now that we've seen how we're actually doing this we can establish it better from these reviews yeah sounds good oh roller uh, um, okay, so Ray backs up and is harassing these guys. So that's probably what paying attention to. Ooh, this guy goes in really fast, but you guys are able to get him. Okay. And so now Ray's calling. Okay, we got one. Let's push. Um, when someone goes down like that, I would like the others and not just the front line to push up. Um, there's a little bit of a slingshot going on here, like. Someone went down. We're in a 4v3. Go and do things at this point. Taku's firing missiles, which is fine. Um, I would like to see, like, Jamie pushing up and maybe Debbie trying to get in position for a fight right away. Oh, roller. Missile two. Uh, you're able to trade it back, which is fine. Okay, we need and we need you get all of your painting power on the zone while the rest of them are focusing on this. So that works out. On zone here so we can cap it. Good. Uh, one's Jamie one's sees this guy and... ooh. I would like for Jamie to have called okay, that, assuming he saw it. One's on left. I think. Uh, I think he tried to drop the bomb at his feet and it went too far away from him. But yeah, he's also just not calling a, that he's doing it. Uh, a rush up on top. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh shoot! Right side. Right side. Oh shoot! Okay, yeah. it sounds like he didn't see that person at all. Mm -hmm. So he's dropping the bomb, just like eh, there's yellow paint here, but I, I'm probably okay. Didn't notice the jump. Moving left. They're gonna be. Um, shoot, right side, right side. Oh, shoot. So he's calling right side, right side. Moving left. Be okay, good. Ray's actually responding to this and seeing that this person's still coming right. In behind you, Ray. Yeah. I like that Ray is making sure to keep his distance using cover. I'm fighting it. Uh, I can't be here. Uh, from here, if he backs up, he's actually making it easier for the Neo Splash to hit him. I would try and be hitting him up over the ledge and using that aspect of it. At this point um because like if you back up this far you have nowhere to run anymore um the best you can hope for is to keep distance and this weapon's faster than yours so um i feel like once you get below there that's when you kind of stand your ground like they can't throw a bomb underneath you they have to just kind of like push over the top and you're going to be able to hit them with slosher hits before you get there so that's more of a 1v1 thing what happens on the rest of the map uh, jamie's down here so it's a 4v3 so the rest of them are pushing in onto the zone yeah, um they're gonna find taku here they're gonna get taku i don't know if i agree with taku too. pushing up here yeah. i guess maybe she's trying to like catch them off guard because they're not expecting us to be pushing there but like best case scenario she gets the try and then the roller just kills her or something so mm -hmm. we didn't have zone so that's a it's it's a big loss there yeah i would say like for taku like why not just focus on this guy on right with ray mm -hmm. um maybe she need feels like she needs to zone the the tri slosher out a little bit and that's fine like fire a couple shots at him just to be like hey i'm watching you i'm watching you punk 
but then once this guy pushes in yeah. this far against Ray, yeah. he needs to be seeing some kind of resistance from more people, I think, at that there's point. Three di there's three different focuses I'm going on right it. now. We got Ray in a 1v1, uh, we got Taku in a 1v1, oh, we got a got Zap trying to shoot me down. Okay. So Bezo, it just it kind of ended up in a quick. scatter there. I have flash down in about two seconds. I tap one around the wall here. I like the idea of Ray trying to go for this guy because, like, there's only so much paint that they could possibly be in. Um, but unfortunately, the bomb rush. <laughs> um, I saw it in my It's this guy right here. One, one little boy right there. That guy. This oh, yeah, dude. the bummer. I, yeah. I saw them coming out, and too, and oh, as soon as I was going to trigger Splashdown, I was just like, ah, reactions. I could have done that like literally a second earlier when I said I'm gonna get splashed down in two seconds. Why didn't I use it? <laughs> now this is not game over from this uh... screen right here. This should not be the end of the game because mm -hmm. Jamie and Taku have not dropped down yet. They can notice that two people yeah. are down. Yeah. So it should at least did that get called in like explicit bomber. terms? Yeah, oh, we're too I... down. Okay, Jamie actually calls it and then still pops armor and drops down. We've J got Jamie 36 ticks that, and 30 seconds. This mm -hmm. is where Jamie said he panicked and like recognized this afterwards. Like, even I pointed out, like, there's still 30 seconds. There was still time by the time Ray and I respawned mm -hmm. to make a cap of this. But Jamie and to be clear, the, the clock that we're worried about is the opponent's timer yeah. here because these are not seconds, these are ticks. Yeah. Um, but even so, you still have enough time for the rest of the team to respawn and make one more push with this armor. Um, mm. oh. But because Jamie and Taku do go out here, because, well, Jamie leads the charge and Taku's like, ah, oh, crap, he's going. I guess I've got to help. Um, Taku gets picked right away. Jamie is a junior in a 1v4. Yeah, uh, and now this is game over because yep. there is not enough time for the two players to respawn. Um, Ray and Devi have to yeah, make, like, a hero like play Jamie. in a, on a completely like painted point. map. I'd also like to know we're the two worst painting weapons right now. <laughs> yes. I've got rush. So. I'm gonna push. There's a try on. Yeah, and it like literally impossible, even oh. if that bomb rush goes off flawlessly to reach the zone in time. So I can't do that. Um it was that stagger right at the end. Yeah, it's just uh patience. Like the last thirty seconds isn't a rush moment, it's a regroup moment mm -hmm. to be able to reclaim. Alright, so we we only we only went five minutes over. I, I told you that, that that VOD review right there was going to be a doozy. Um, there's just so much to talk about when you can see everything instead of just one player's perspective. Um, so I'm pretty proud that we got through that as quickly as we could. That is going to do it for the stream. Um, thank you, everybody, for watching on uh, you know both platforms, YouTube and Twitch. Shout-outs to both of you guys. Um, and thank you to our mods for doing the best they can to keep control of chat, keep you all reined in. Um, we are oh, Bravest wow. Esports. Yeah, exactly. We are <laughs> Bravest Esports. Uh, Squid School starting soon. Yes, exactly. Um, let me get the uh, slideshow shifted over right here to talk about what's coming. Uh, come on. There we go. Um, <laughs> you can do this, Jerry, I believe. It, it reset right as soon as I hit the forward button, so it went back to the previous <laughs> slide. Anyway, so tomorrow we're going to have Warzone Wednesday, um, which is actually at the same time as Squid School. We just put a different time zone on there. Um, so, you know, 3 p.m. Mountain Time is 4 p.m. Central Time. Um, and uh, we're going to be sh featuring Bordy McBoard on Warzone Wednesday. You uh, saw her on the Sadie Hawkins doubles event. So um, check that out tomorrow with uh, Rosebud and Andy. And then on Friday, we're going to have a Smash Ultimate uh, virtual esports open for Columbia State Community College. So that should be fun. And that's going to be a little bit later in the evening. So thank you all for watching, everybody. I have been Jem. Thank you to Gooms, and thank you to the Grillers for submitting the footage that we went over. Like I said earlier, if you want a VOD review of your own, just go to our Discord server, um, which should be posted there in both chats now. And uh, DM me, Jem, and we'll get you on the schedule. Um, just make sure that, uh, you know, you're, you're contacting me and uh, that you have some idea in your head of how you're planning on recording something, but we'll talk about all of that 
when the time comes. Um, so thank you. And uh, we will see you next week for more Squid School. Thank you, everybody. Let's see if we've got... Uh, I don't know how, I don't know how raids work. We, we we can't like do them on. I'm just gonna stop the stream, but maybe we'll host someone afterwards. We'll see. <laughs> we'll figure it out as we go. Maybe maybe I can I can probably just hit raid channel on Twitch. Wait, wait. I and mean, then at the end of the stream. Name name somebody. Damn, um, I think we found out that mods can command raids in Twitch chat, so. I, I can I can probably just hit the button, but let me see. The, the button the button always goofs on mod things, so it's easier just to type the command. Okay, um, let let's just see if we can raid Becca. I have hit the raid button. Leo, this obviously won't do anything on uh, YouTube, but it should do stuff on Twitch still. Pray that the button works. Fingers crossed. <laughs> button. It did. All right, away we go. Uh, Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good one. Works.